Watchman of the Lake Summary in English. On the eastern base of Baba Budan Hills in Karnataka, there is a place called Sakripatna thousand years ago, was the capital of a king called Rukmangada. In the center of this town there is a shrine which is dedicated not to distant gods or heroes had to a rustic, who was watchman of a lake called Ayankari, four miles from the town. There was road mending works going on. In the first scene village headman was supervising the work. He commanded every worker to do their works properly. At that time one of the worker named Mara who was close to all the workers. The village was very busy in making road because the king of the town arrives. Mara argued with the headman that he wanted to sit there and pray. He said that the goddess of the river came to me in the dream and said the king is coming this way. Tell him about the tank he will listen. The headman commanded Bhima to bind this fellow hand and foot and throw him into the cellar behind the Ole temple and keep him there till the day after tomorrow. As the king is about to pass under a tree, someone jumps down from its branches. The king heard the voice of the others saying, where did he jump from? Who is he? Mara was dragged before the king. The king inquired about him. He replied that he was an unworthy dog. Mara conveyed his dream to the king. He added that that is the place. There once stood the great Hanuman on the day Lakshmana was wounded in the battlefield at Lanka and lay in a deadly faint. Many years later, Mara was standing before his hut on the bank of a vast lake. In the third scene the watchman took a final survey on the tank bund and was about to go back home. He saw a shadowy figure moving down the narrow stone steps placed something on the last step and slowly moved into knee-deep water level. Watchman quickly moved, asked the lady to come on to steps and rest. From the letter that she left, he sensed that she has come to suicide. In the interaction, he found her troubles silly and shared his own sorrows and miseries of life. He suggested her to go home dismissing all her problems as nothing. Looking at her obstinate behavior not to leave the tank, he left her alone late in the night and moved away. The next day, watchman moved first to the steps and found the letter there and could not find any clue about the lady. He felt guilty of leaving her alone at tank. He also felt that he is responsible at least for one suicide in the tank and was expecting the body to float on the water in the due course of time. After some years, on a particular day watchman could identify the woman among the visitors and salutes her with folded hands expecting the response. He had lots of questions to ask. The lady moves away like a stranger. He goes home dismissing the thought that he may be wrong in identifying the lady.